Fashion designers Dolce and Gabbana have been given 20-month jail terms and heavy fines for tax avoidance by a court in Milan. The sentences are suspended pending an appeal. The duo contest the verdict. It's claimed they sold their brand to a holding company in Luxembourg to hide hundreds of millions of euros from Italian authorities. In Italy, tax evasion never goes out of fashion. But as designers Dolce & Gabbana have found out, undeclared income comes with an expensive price tag. Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana have a string of celebrity clients and their styles are known throughout the world. Away from the catwalk, their range includes watches, jewelry, perfumes and cosmetics. And they employ around 3,000 workers in more than 40 countries. The Milan judge handed down a suspended sentence of 20 months in prison for tax evasion on undeclared income. Inside the courtroom, Chief Executive Alfonso Dolce seemed to fear the worst. According to prosecutors, in 2004 the designers sold their signature brand to a shell company they set up in Luxembourg in order to avoid paying income taxes in Italy. According to the law, the accusations are completely unfounded. There is nothing, absolutely nothing. In a separate but related trial, the designers had already been found guilty by a tax commission tribunal and were given a massive half a billion dollars fine. Tax evasion has long been a burden on Italy's coffers. It's estimated almost $200 billion of income are undeclared. The authorities have recently cracked down on tax evaders, targeting high-profile cases to set up an example. Dolce & Gabbana are not the first celebrities to fall under the taxman's scrutiny. In the year 2000, opera singer Luciano Pavarotti paid over $10 million in back taxes. And motorbike racing champion Valentino Rossi settled out of court with a hefty $50 million payment.